Space age technologies have given us many high-tech improvements in our daily lives. Personal computers, personal electronics, medical advances, and lighter, stronger sports equipment. Many of these technologies developed by government are moved to the private sector through a process known as technology transfer. The Air Force has always been in the lead in the development and adaptation of new technologies. One such innovation, advanced composite materials, is benefiting people in new and different ways. Composite materials' high strength and light weight make them very attractive to the Air Force for developing lighter and stronger aircraft that can go faster and farther. Sports equipment manufacturers have long known the benefits of composite materials in the construction of stronger yet lighter golf clubs and court rackets. And even farther away, satellites that beam television and telephone signals to and from Earth are built in part from these advanced materials. Soon the American taxpayer will enjoy yet another benefit from composites. Engineers from the Materials Directorate at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio, are actively involved in the technology transfer process, instructing Ohio's civil engineering community in the use of advanced composites in repairing highway bridges. The American highway system, typically made of concrete and steel, is rapidly deteriorating. Studies show that 40% of U.S. bridges are below minimum engineering standards. Additionally, estimates say that in a few years, conventional repair methods and associated traffic jams will cost the taxpayer $50 billion annually. One solution to this problem is composites. The Materials Directorate, teamed with Ohio's Butler County Engineer's Office and LJB Incorporated, a bridge design firm servicing the engineer's office, began testing the feasibility of using composite technology for bridge repair. First, the team identified a bridge in rural Ohio, typical of many U.S. bridges, to demonstrate the technology. Then, lab work was needed to prove that advanced composites could reinforce concrete beams, increasing overall strength. With the site located, laboratory evaluation began on scaled-down versions of the concrete beams, eight feet in length and weighing 1,000 pounds each. By gluing a composite plate weighing only one pound, the load-carrying capacity increased by 16,000 pounds, nearly twice the load of beams without composite. Following the success of the 8-foot beam testing, the next phase is lab testing of 28-foot beams, identical to those found in the actual bridge site. Testing of these full-scale beams proved that the composite material increased load-carrying capability by 20,000 pounds. With lab testing complete, and the technology successfully transferred from the Materials Directorate scientists to the Butler County Engineers and LJB Incorporated, the next step is a real-world demonstration on an actual bridge. Implementing the composite material from a design conceived by LJB, a Butler County bridge crew working on their own applied the composite in a matter of hours and caused no interruption in traffic flow unlike conventional repair, which could cause months of traffic delays. As a test of the repair technology's durability, the two exterior bridge beams were chosen for application of the composite material because they'll experience the worst environmental conditions. 
After a year in the field, which included the harshest winter in recent Ohio history, one of the beams was removed from the bridge and transported back to the laboratory for testing. Test results proved very impressive. With the technology performing well despite exposure to these extreme environmental conditions. Even after a year in the elements, the composite still offered enough structural integrity that the concrete and steel proved to be the weak links in the bridge structure, not the composite patch. Yet another hurdle faces this technology, long-term environmental exposure. Removal and testing of the other bridge beam will be accomplished after several more years in the field. This data will be compared to the lab tests to further gauge the patch's durability. With the technology applied by Butler County and LJB Incorporated, a major step has been taken toward successful technology transfer. The next step is an actual repair of one of Ohio's bridges. Composite materials have had a major impact on our lives and will continue to do so in ways that might not be immediately known, as in the case of composites for infrastructure repair. The Air Force will never stop their relentless search for innovative materials and processes and new ways to apply these through technology transfer.